Hi everybody, it's Deanna with toolsofenergyprotection.com, your energy shift expert, where I teach empathic people how to shield, protect their energy, and take their power back, and how to navigate the energies. Welcome everybody tonight to my Tuesday night broadcast of Terrific Tuesday. I will tell you that already I've uh, been on once and had some challenges, so it seems like uh, the stream for uh, the internet's a little slow tonight, but um, I'm coming on to uh, help you to know that the energies right now are supporting us in examining our shadow selves. What's a shadow self? Shadow self is our darker side, our darker energy. It's um, the person that we have been that we don't show everybody else or the one that we don't usually look at because it might have pain or past hurt feelings usually has to do with our upbringing, either our parents or um, our ways of dealing with the things when we were growing up and what was shown to us. So right now the energy shifts are supporting us being able to embrace or examine or look more closely at our shadow selves and although it might be painful, right now if we look at them and we see what's hurt us in the past and we begin to come to terms with it, then we're going to ascend more easily. Our energies are going to flow more easily and effortlessly and we will become a more joyous, happy, and solid person. So that's what's going on right now uh, with the energy shifts. Um, tonight, um, I am going to offer something that I normally don't, which is I'd like to share a 30 minute or half hour free energy clearing with somebody who is tuning in. So if you're watching this video and you'd like to enter to win, I'm going to go between now, which is uh, February 13th and Friday, and anybody who shared this video with people on their own page will be put uh, in for the opportunity to draw a free 30 minute energy clearing. And I will send you a private message if you're selected. Um, and then also I want to talk about insights on love since tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Uh, some of my single friends say it's national. Yes, you're single day. <laughs> But we can also look at it as a way to review how we look at ourselves and how we love ourselves and um, then how we love those people around us. So love is patient and love is kind. So when you're examining your shadow self or looking at your darker side, make sure that you show yourself some grace and some patience because it took a while for you to get here and where you find yourself now. So it's going to take a while for you to undo some things that maybe have been done to you um, in the past. And so what I'd like for you to do is to have a look at um, who you have been that you haven't liked. Go ahead and make a little list, you know, maybe jot it down. Um, you know, on a little sheet of paper, just, you know, bullet statements about things about yourself that you don't like, or maybe things that other people see in you that you don't see in yourself. Um, and then also I'd like for you to, to look at habits that you have that you don't like, you've been trying to overcome or trying to get rid of. So um, sometimes we don't drink enough water. Sometimes we don't eat the right food. Sometimes we don't eat often enough, or perhaps we don't give ourselves downtime. A lot of us don't allow for downtime, and then we end up doing so much and we end up exhausting ourselves. So please take some time today, right now, and write down uh, it's a little bullet statements of things like that, because whatever it is that pains us the most, that's our shadow self. And depending on how advanced you are, how much you've worked on yourself will show you some deeper and deeper things. And sometimes it's our beliefs and our perceptions that hurt us. So now is the time for you to look at that. 
Um, also, I wanna, uh, wanted to uh, share with you here just a minute. Let me have a look at this. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, some things that I found earlier today about how, as an empath, to take care of yourself a little bit better. So for uh, on my website, Tools of Energy Protection, it's about claiming your energy so you can protect yourself as an empath because you're so sensitive. And one of the things that um, I was reading today was to celebrate your your abilities, your empathic abilities, and really give thanks and joy for them. I know sometimes they can be painful because we pick too much of other people's poop up, but it's also nice to have them because you begin to listen to those energies and you begin to listen to yourself and you find that you can navigate your world a lot more easily. So celebrate those when you find things that you know to be true that nobody else uh, knows to be true and they help you to make different um, choices. Again, um, if you're just joining us, I'm offering a free 30 minute clearing uh, to anybody who shares this video either now while it's live or um, after it comes up as a recording between now and Friday. Um, if you will share it on your own personal page and then uh, for those who share it, I will enter your name into a drawing for Friday and then announce who the free winner is. So that would be um, appreciated. Um, insights on love. With Valentine's Day being tomorrow, there's a lot of people that are hurting because they don't feel loved. So some insight for you is to really at this time with the shadow self look at yourself and find at least five things that are lovable about you and you know put them on a sticky note and put them on your mirror or in your car or somewhere where you see them because a lot of times we don't remember how lovable we really are there are some amazing things that each one of us can do like some of us are good listeners um, and that's lovable. A lot of people just want to be heard. <laughs> Some of us uh, are. Um, Some of us are good friends. Some of us are good sisters, good brothers, because we're there when people need us, but we don't enable. Um, what's another lovable quality that you might think about for yourself? You're unique. You're the only one on this planet that's like you. <laughs> and how many people are on this planet? A bazillion? A billion? I don't know what the count is anymore. And know that God's spirit or source loves you and your angels are always with you. And if you're not having somebody in your life right now, if you're looking for somebody to date or perhaps you're lonely in your own relationship, that's again why the shadow self is coming up to be examined. There may be a quality about yourself that you would have be a good idea for you to look at. So if you isolate yourself and you don't get out there and you don't meet people, that's something to address. Sometimes we're just not making ourselves available to meet and greet other people or to go to coffee with other people. So that's something to look at. But love is really truly patient and love is truly kind, but it also draws boundaries. So an insight on love is to make sure that you have and establish healthy boundaries with other people. Please don't let them push in too far. If you go from middle finger to middle finger and you stretch your arms all the way out and turn around in a circle, that's your personal space. And some of us seek love so badly and we're so desperate, we'll do anything to get it. And in that, if you imagine putting your hands up maybe five inches in front of your chest and standing with your feet together, that's where your personal boundary is. And it's really not that far. 
as you can see, it's not that far. So if somebody pushes me, I don't have that much space to react in or that much space to protect myself in. But if I stretch my arms all the way out in the letter T and bring my hands up on the end, that's a lot of space. So if somebody pushes me, it gives me some time to react. It gives me some time to adjust. You don't want to have your arms all the way out because then, you know, you can't push back a little bit. <laughs> but what I'm asking you to do is to look at your boundaries. That space is your loving space towards yourself that you hold open for the divine creator source of all to fill and extend. And if you don't hold that space open and you hold it too close, and people are in that space, you begin to blur the line between loving yourself and others loving you and you seeking that acceptance. Because if your boundaries are really short and you're running around, love me, love me, love me, people don't have to come that far, but it's also not that hard for them to push you and control you, seeking that love. When we're healthy in our own boundaries, in our own hearts, and in our own minds, then it's easier to have a loving relationship. And I'm looking over here in the feed, and it looks like I have um, some comments down here. And normally I can read those comments and respond. Let me see if I can pull them up on my phone because I'm not readily seeing those comments and I would like to respond to them. I can read those comments and respond. Let me see if I'm readily seeing those comments and I would like to respond to them. All right. So it looks like some of you are saying um you're talking about anxiety. Uh someone's saying hi. Again, I'm not sure why it's not running in the feed where I can read it here. Um uh, someone else talking about self-respect, and then uh, somebody is actually telling me good morning. So good morning to you. I'm getting a lot of overseas viewers, big kisses. <laughs> I really appreciate you getting up so early um, to engage. Um, so, uh, yeah, anxiety, um, since someone wrote in the comment anxiety and self-respect, um, when you have those boundaries that aren't clear, especially as an empath, you are inviting yourself open for people to drain your energy, for people to plug in, like you're some kind of a circuit and they're plugging in to gain electricity out of you. And that's not very loving to yourself and it's not loving to others because if they deplete you, then there's nothing else for them to get. And then they leave you, this dried uh, pulp, <laughs> so to speak, on the side of the road, and and that's not good either. So um, before I go on, did anybody have any questions? I now have my cell phone so I can see if anybody has any questions in the feed. All right. So just a few housekeeping things. I was offering gift certificates for everybody uh, for Valentine's Day. It's a little late to get them in the mail but I still have them available for purchase gift certificates. If you wanted to um, purchase one for somebody for Valentine's Day, if you do that really quickly and then send me a text, a private message, um, I'll be glad to give them a call and tell them that you bought the gift certificate. Uh, then um, uh, I will be publishing on toolsofenergyprotection.com a little bit later, the article on the shadow self and what to do, and what the process is to work on that going forward. Um, and I'll also post it again on YouTube. And then if you'd like to win a 30 minute free energy clearing, be sure and press share on this video on uh, Facebook. And um, then I will see who does that and pull one of those names out. And on Friday, announce it right here on the business Facebook page who the winner is and make sure that you uh, get with me to um, do that energy clearing, see what energies are holding you back or down and help you to move forward. So that's pretty much everything that I have. Again, uh, I would like to say a good morning to those that are 
uh, watching um, from another country. That's fabulous. I love the internet. We can reach out and touch so many people. If you know anybody who is empathic or highly sensitive, please share this with them and let them know I'm here to support them. I am currently building a huge group of empathic people, teaching them how to protect their energy and how to be the white blood cells on this planet because you are so needed. There's so much fear. There's so many things being pumped into our consciousness right now that aren't positive and God's spirit or source is calling you out as a highly sensitive empathic person to shield yourself, move forward, raise the vibration of this planet and restore peace in people's hearts. We need you on our team. So come and join me here or on toolsofenergyprotection.com. Let's get you started. Let's get you cleared up. Let's getting you feel better and manifesting and bringing divine abundance to you and sharing that with the world. So thank you so much for joining me. Mm, big hugs and kisses. At the end of the broadcast, I will post this so that you can share and enter to win a free 30-minute um, energy session. Have a great night.